It's your boy High Five Vega back again, and this time we are here to test, review, and just check out this awesome new receiver. This is the Kenwood Exelon 304, and it's an entry level budget gem, I think, but you'll see once we get into the review part. It costs around $119. Just about anywhere you look, it's a fantastic deal. Before we get into the testing, let me kind of look at the box and tell you what it's got going on. I know this right offhand that it does have three sets of five volt pre-outs, which is very nice. It has a crossover network. It has time llama. It has a 13 band EQ. I gotta go to the box for the rest of this stuff. It also plays WAV files, FLAC, and of course MP3. It has a remote app. The remote app lets you do the EQ, it lets you do the time alignment, it lets you do the color. And on this, there is multiple color patterns you can do, and it's variable. You can go in the app, and I'll kind of show you where you can choose what you want it to look like. Other things of note would be the front USB is quick charging for Android phones. So if you're an Android guy and your phone has quick charging, this is an awesome feature. It works with iPhone, works with iPod. One other feature it does have that, that I typically would not use much is the uh, Alexa Bluetooth. That's a cool feature if you're a big Alexa user. That being said, let's see what this thing does power wise. Let's see what it does output voltage wise. Let's see the high volume you can turn it up and not get distortion with speakers and through the RCAs. Let's put this thing through the ringer and uh, let's see if it is the budget gym. I'm already saying it is. Let's start off with the dyno. We are rated 22 watts by 4. This is the forum stereo test. We are using a 1 kilohertz track and all channels will be driven. We only got 15 watts at 14.7 volts. I didn't even bother with the clamp, but let's go on and see if this head unit can redeem itself in the other test. We're gonna continue testing the internal amp on this. We're gonna see at what volume on a one kilohertz track do the speaker outputs clip. My particular unit clips on the speaker outputs at volume 25. So if you're using this to drive speakers and an amp on the sub output, what I would do is set my gain at volume 24, just to make sure you're not clipping your front speakers and your amp is good to go. On this test, we're gonna see at what volume do the RCA start to clip I did not mention this before, but every test is on a flat EQ. I've got the DD1 hooked up again. We're gonna use a one kilohertz track. The max volume is 35, so let's see how loud we can turn it up without getting distortion. It looks like we can turn it almost all the way up. Volume 34, it does not clip, so that is pretty awesome. This is a clean head unit. I love to see this type of stuff. All right, now we're gonna test the RCA voltage output. It is rated five volts, so let's see what volume it takes to get that full five volts, if we get it at all. So we do get our full voltage of five volts plus half a volt, but it is at the full volume of 35. I do wanna come back and show you guys something on this. If you have the volume at full tilt, which is 35, you will be getting 5.5 volts, but that is clipping. We tested that earlier. So let's see how many volts we get at 34 on the volume, which is not clipping. And then we'll kind of know what kind of voltage you're getting to your amps, not clipping. Let's, uh, let's do it. So 
So at 34, we know we're not clipping. We're getting a solid four volts. Let's go down to 75% volume, which most people recommend when you're setting up your amps. Okay, we're at four volts now. 75% volume would probably be around 30. And look at that, you're all the way down to 1.3 volts. On this one, if you set your gains at 75% volume, you're definitely gonna be missing out on some of that output voltage. Let's see where we get two at. At 31, we're still under two. At 32, we we're at 2.2. If we go up to 33, that still keeps us about three, you know, 2.8. And then 34, we finally make the jump to 4.1. And of course, if we overdrive it, we're at 5.4 volts. Now I just wanna quickly run you guys through the app so you can check it out. If you go to user here, you can set your EQ custom. You can even adjust the Q factor a little bit. That's pretty nice. I mean, it's easier to adjust it this way than it is on the unit. That's 100% for sure. You can change your fader, your balance, all in the app. Very cool. You can do your time alignment in the app. This is so much better than doing it on the deck. Um, you can also pick a speaker setting. I haven't read too much about what this actually does, but I'm sure it's here for a reason. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on here, right? Um, as far as the subwoofer, you can turn it on and off here. You can set your levels in here. The coolest feature of the app outside of the time limit and the EQ is messing with the colors and having it change on the fly. I'll try to leave a little bit of video so you guys can check out the color changing while I'm doing it on the app. I'm back with my final thoughts on the Kenwood Exelon X304 budget head unit. As you've seen in the test, the power output was on par with just about any head unit you're gonna get. If you're using it for the speakers, you're not gonna get much power. We already understand that, and we know that the 50 watts max power is, is kind of outlandish on almost any head unit you're gonna get outside of, you know, that big Sony I tested a while back. As far as the unit itself, this thing can be, you know, a 80 PRS replacement. You're missing some features, like you don't have the full 16 band EQ, which, you know, gives you a few more tiny adjustments you can do. Crossovers are a little more limited, although the 80 PRS is limited as well. So overall, the app control is a very welcome feature. You can go in there, set your EQ, set your uh, time limit, all that type of stuff, set your colors that you wanna do. Very cool, I really dig that. The output voltage was good, although you do have to be at the full max volume, 34, to get your five volts output, and you have to be one notch lower to even get four volts output. Pay attention to that when you're setting up your amps. If you want your full output, you need to set your gains at full output. The head unit did not distort until you got up to the max volume. That's a very nice thing because some head units distort much lower. On the power output from the speakers, you distort at 25, which means you're gonna have less than one volt of output to your sub amp while you're distorting your speakers. It's unfortunate, that's the biggest drawback. If you're using this head unit anything like I am and you're just using the three five volt outputs, you're gonna be very, very happy and you're not gonna have to worry about the volume issue with the speaker output clipping at 25. Overall, I think it's a fantastic unit. You cannot beat this, in my opinion, for $120 shipped almost everywhere. And if you guys know of a better value head unit, you know, leave them down in the comments below. Let me know which ones I should be looking at because I like head units. I like testing them. I like seeing what they do. You know, that's it for this video. If you want to pick one of these up, of course, I will leave an affiliate link in the description below and I will catch you guys on the next video. If you want to see more of my nonsense not on YouTube, check me out on Instagram. I'm hi -Fi Vega. I'm also hi -Fi Vega on Facebook as well as Robert hi -Fi Vega. So if you're ready for more nonsense, go ahead and give me a follow on one of those platforms. I appreciate each and every one of my Patreon supporters, but I want to give a special shout out to the $6 or more members, 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Byron Shambliss, El Fuego, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Boxboy Audio Sound Solutions, and Jesus Tires. If you're interested in getting your name read aloud or on this list, check me out at patreon.com slash vega and you'll also get some exclusive patron-only content. Oh, 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 oh.